Hi everyone. Um, so my name is Philip. I'm a senior product marketing manager and part of the Microsoft Graph uh, Data Connect team. And today we're going to talk about how we can power business decisions with Microsoft 365 data and Azure Synapse. So the Microsoft Graph is a, a, a massive rich pool of data, and we're talking about you know 18 trillion data points that are generated by 300 million. Uh, Office 365 users and you know like 270 million Teams users, right? So it's a huge amount of untapped data um, that is available for analytics. So I wanted to today kind of take a little bit of a deeper dive into this and show you what's actually available. So if we go to the next slide, you can see here a view of all of the data sets that are currently available through Microsoft Graph Data Connect and it's a lot. So just what is uh, Microsoft Graph Data Connect. So we, I just showed you like all of this data that is accessible through Microsoft Graph Data Connect. And what it does is it leverages M365 data uh, at scale to empower insights and drive these different types of business decisions. So let's start by taking a look at, you know, how people are leveraging this data that I just showed you and how customers are using that data sets to empower analytics, right? So there's a lot of different scenarios, and today we're just going to focus on the fourth scenario. And the fourth scenario is the security and compliance scenario on the bottom right. Um, so Microsoft 365 data can help you understand how your employees are using and sharing sensitive information. And the demo today is going to be focused around the SharePoint information oversharing uh, use case. So as you can see, each one of these scenarios are backed by several different use cases. And just because of the length of you know the time we have today, we're going to go over one of them, which is the information oversharing use case uh, that Jose will present. And just to give you a little bit more background about it, the SharePoint information oversharing is a security and compliance use case powered by a newly available SharePoint usage and activity data sets, also known as ODSP data sets. So this allows customers to better understand how Microsoft information protection labels are constantly protecting their SharePoint data, maintaining information boundaries and establishing new rules based on how sensitive data is managed and classified. So that just means like if you are, you know, if you send out an email, like are you sharing it with too many people? Is it being shared with more than you had originally intended, right? Or is that information being shared outside corporate boundaries? So are people sharing it to their private emails? So this is actually uh, something that Microsoft uses internally as well. So uh, we'd look, like to show you like how we kind of set it up and now I'm going to hand it over to Jose, who will present the demo on the SharePoint information oversharing use case. So feel free to take it away. All right, so we are going to start the demo here uh, in our office UI, where I'm going to go and navigate to the admin center. Right. So in the admin center is where we are going to configure the Microsoft Graph Data Connect so you can get access to all this data. So you, you do have to set it up. We go under uh, settings, org settings, and you will find here the Microsoft Graph Data Connect configuration. So uh, what we want to do here is basically to turn on the Microsoft Graph Data Connect which will allow us to transfer data from this tenant to an Azure storage account that you will configure. And we are also going to check the box for SharePoint Online and OneDrive. So I am focusing here in the SharePoint uh, scenario. I am from the SharePoint team. And one more thing to highlight on this page is that when requests come in to the Microsoft Graph Data Connect, they do need to be approved. And this is where you would do it. For instance, there was a data request here, and you can see that someone requested uh, some data, and you see what columns were requested, what kind of data set. So is, this one is about SharePoint sites. So you can see that every request that comes in will have to be approved at least once. Now, if you send multiple uh, over time of the exact same request, then they can think, go and function in a recurring fashion, right? So next, we are going to go here and look at our Azure account. So you will need to have an Azure account to store the data that you're going to receive. So basically, I have here 
uh, server storage accounts, which have a few containers inside. And then I'm going to look here at my files sites folder. And this is how the data comes to you, a set of JSON files. So in this Microsoft Graph Data Connect model, you don't actually do a request for each site one at a time. You actually tell it, give me all my sites. And then it transfers to you files with all your sites in one single operation, right? So let me go back and show you how this is done. So we are going to go here into the Synapse Analytics. And I'm going to go into my workspace here and open the Synapse Studio. So this is where we are going to create the pipelines that will move the data from Office to the Azure Storage so that you can use it with all the interesting uh, Azure data tools that you have available to you. So let's go here and take a look at the Integrate tab where you can see a few pipelines. So I have uh, two different pipelines here. We can take a look at a simple one. This one is as simple as it gets. You have a copy data operation and you have a source. And you can see here that the source for this data is going to be a Microsoft Office instance. And you you chose here one of the data sets. So this one is about sites, right? You can see all the columns. You can select all the columns or just a few. And if you trigger this pipeline, then it's going to actually bring the data over. How does the data look like? So you will go to your storage account and you will find as a result something like this, right? So you're going to have a JSON representation of the, in this case, a sharing instance. So you see here, I have uh, someone that shared a web called size experiment with full control shared with a SharePoint group uh, called size experiment owners. So you can see here one sharing action. But uh, what we are going to do, we're going to bring that over to Power BI so you can bring uh, something, you can build something like this. So you can bring that data into Power BI, so you should be familiar with this, and these are all the columns that are brought in. So you have information about size of each site, you have information about the templates that you use. So in this case, we have mostly group sites, so we also have some personal sites and some site publishing sites. But uh, the focus, as we mentioned, is in the information over sharing. So if you want to build one of these, uh, what you can do is you can go here and say, oh, I want to create uh, my own pipeline. And you can go here and you say, I want to go and do a copy task. And I'm going to do a source uh, type. And you can select here all these. And uh, you select a connection. In my case, I'm doing source as office. And then it, it was going to bring the list of data sets that you have, have available here. So if you're going for sites, you would select this one. If you want information about sharing, you would select this one. So these bottom ones are the three from uh, our uh, SharePoint collection. So let's uh, go ahead and say this one. And you can go and say, oh, I want to get from the 25th to the 25th. So you select what dates you're going to bring over. And then what is the destination? So I'm going to say, oh, I want to put it in Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. And then you just select the path where you're going to land this one. So this would give you something very similar to uh, what we had before. But maybe what you want to do is not to bring just one data set, but you want to actually combine this to understand security overall. So for that, you would need information about sharing, combined with information about sites, combined with information about Active Directory groups, so you can do group expansion. So one way that you can do this is when you create this, 
you use our template that we publish to the gallery. So in the Synapse Gallery, you have several different templates that you can use. If you simply search for SharePoint, you will find our advanced analytics and insights for SharePoint. And if I continue here, what this is going to do, it's going to give us a template that brings all that data and then a couple of not notebooks included to do the group expansion and combine everything together. And in order to bring this over to your workspace, all you have to do is select the inputs where you're going to uh, link the service to your storage and to your uh, office configuration. So let's uh, go ahead, instead of uh, doing this, now I have one that I already used. So here it is. It basically shows you that you have three copy data here from AAD, and then we combine this using a notebook, and then you have sites sharing here, and you combine these, and then you finally drop the results in your storage. So this will go a long way to help you uh, understand how you would do this, and then you can customize this from the template. If you look here, you can monitor the execution. You have here uh, one that uh, succeeded. Actually, I'm running this on a recurring basis. So every day it collects the information. And you can see uh, for this latest one here, you can see that it uh, succeeded. And you can see the several tasks that were executed. For instance, the sites extraction. You can go here and see, for instance, that it got the data from Microsoft 365 to Azure Data Lake Storage. It took 26 minutes to do the whole operation and grab all the sites over. And you can also see that after it did those, you had also a notebook, for instance, to do the AAD group expansion. So you can take a look at that as well. And you can see here the notebook that we provided in the template. It has uh, lots of comments, lots of explanations, and all the code that we use to do the group expansion and drop the right data in the right storage uh, folder. So this is how you would uh, run these uh, pipelines, but then in the end, it lands in Power BI, right? Uh, just pointing to the data that you have uh, extracted. So you set up a, a dashboard like this one. So for instance, this one will show you how much sharing is done at the folder level, list level, site level. If you go to this one, you see how much sharing is being done and as full control, or as added reads, so the different types of role definitions, and even some more complex uh, information here, like the classification of the site, the sensitivity label, highly confidential, protected, top secret by the target domain. So if you're in Fabricam uh, and you share data with Contoso, these are partner companies, so that's expected. But there's this acme.com domain here that I wasn't expecting. So you can understand how this happened exactly, what, uh, which of these uh, sites have been shared with each of these uh, domains. So a very detailed view of what you can uh, uh, do in SharePoint, in your tenant, all the permissions, which is something that is sometimes very complex to achieve. So if you want to actually run through this whole process, we do have step-by-step -step guides. You can go to aka.ms slash SharePoint data, all one word, to find the step-by-step -step to both uh, create a simple pipeline that brings just one of the SharePoint data sets, or to do this whole template with lots of different data sets being pulled together uh, for you. And uh, we're focusing on the SharePoint uh, scenario here, but uh, these uh, steps will also help you understand how the whole thing works if you want to do things, for instance, with exchange data, with Teams data, or even together with Active Directory and SharePoint. So this was a quick demo of how you can configure your office to share data with your Azure 
uh, subscription and get all this insight about what's going on inside your tenant. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks so much for the demonstration on there. Some great questions in the uh, chat if you'd like to peruse those. Thank you.